I hope she doesn't throw one of those at me. My name's Sarah. What's yours? What's it to ya, you little snot? You don't have to be so mean. I was just asking. I was just asking. Hm. My name is Trixie. Try to remember it. Do you like it here at the circus? Are you for real? This blows. The only enjoyment I get these days is creaming my stupid brother. I don't think that's very nice. Shut up. I don't remember asking you about what you thought, you shrimp. Boy, you aren't a very friendly clown. I thought clowns were supposed to be happy and nice. Is that so? Well, most clowns aren't stuck in a run-down circus on an island, waiting to get eaten by some giant freak. What do you mean, waiting to get eaten? What freak? The goddamn squid. I knew it was bad news the day Antonio brought him. Christ. He ate my dog. The first day he was here. Poor Mr. Pooper. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry? Oh, that's great, kid. But it won't bring back my dog. You get away from me before I nail you with a pie. Poor sad little clown. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Simon. Do you like it here at the circus? No, my sister is a real pain in the ass. Why is she so mean to you? Oh, I don't know. She was always kind of mean. But when her dog died, man, that pushed her over the edge. Ugh, poo, he stinks. My name's Sarah. What's yours? The flipper. Do you like it here at the circus? Oh yeah, this is my dream. All I got is a prop is this freaking fish. Why don't you use something else? Oh, what else is there? I used to get stuff from the crowd, but there is no stinking crowd. This circus sucks. Yuck, the needle doesn't look very clean. Can't you see I'm busy? Graham, you nosy little brat. May I have a bottle of rubbing alcohol? Inferno is going to teach me how to breathe fire. She is, is she? Ain't you a little young to do that? No, I'm almost eight and a half. Oh, uh, uh, hell, why not? I sure as hell ain't using it. And a buttload of this crap just sitting around going to waste. Knock yourself out, kid. off, I'll give you one of my old fire batons. Second, you can light it here in my fire barrel. That should be it. Are you ready? Watch me carefully, and then you try it. Okay. Okay, now you try it. You did it. You're a natural. I know who's been sending you love poems. What? How did you find out I was getting them? I haven't told a soul. 
I can't tell you how I found out, but I know that Gino the strong man is sending them. Oh no! That big oaf! Oh my goodness! He was dating half the girls from the High Wire Act before the flood. How can I take that man seriously? What if he tattoos your name on his arm? Oh, I don't know. If he were willing to do that, maybe it would be a start. Just between you and me, I've been awfully lonely since my husband went away. like Mr. Potato Head, put together wrong. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Stuart Lincoln, my good child. A purveyor of earthly oddities, if you will. A peddler of the perverted beasts that lurk in the shadows of your mind. I am a collector of freaks. I humbly welcome you to my monument of monstrosities. Where do the freaks come from? Does it really matter, child? They have been assembled here for your entertainment, kept safely behind iron bars so you can observe at your leisure. How many tickets to get in? A mere five tickets. Half of ten and one less than half a dozen. A small price to pay to see what few will encounter in the space of a lifetime. I've heard that one of your freaks got loose during the flood, and now he's eating everyone who goes in the water. The forces of Mother Nature are not mine to wield, my girl. During the Great Calamity, Iggy took the opportunity to free himself from the shackles of man and returned once more to his watery domain. Who am I to judge this misunderstood creature? Look! Thank you. Now, step lively, little girl, for the gallery of the grotesque awaits. can't tell if he's a man or a big dog. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Timber. Go away, kid, before I eat you. What a terrible thing to say. I was just being friendly. If you want to be friendly, release me from this damn cage. If I let you out, you'll eat me. You said so yourself. Promise. I, I promise not to. E if you let me out. How could I trust you? You look like you'd eat the first thing you get your hands on. Uh, no, not you. I, I want... I smell bones. Uh, sweet scent of marrow. Uh, driving me mad. Uh, I'm starving. Uh, I want out. Will you lead me to the bones? You can smell bones? Where are they? I haven't seen any on this entire island. Buried. Deep uh, underground. I can smell them. I can. I'll dig them up. Gee, I don't know. Uh, please, kid. I'm dying in this wretched cage. Uh, I need out. 
Why doesn't Stuart just open your cage? Doesn't he have a key? <sighs> key lost. <sighs> Damn, Stuart lost it. <sighs> Need to pick it open now. Yuck. I can't do that. That's it. Oh, free, free. Thank you. Bones. Dig them up. Ow. This must be for the merry-go-round, but it's all rusted up. An Whee! <laughs> it looks fun, but the animals scare me. No way! I don't think I can go... Step on up to the sign, Twerp. Spanky will say if you goes in or not. Ha <laughs> ha! Throw this one back in the water, Spanky. She's too small. Okay, Shrimpo, step up to the sign and Spanky will... What the... Huh. Well, I guess you're okay, Stretch. Thank you. I guess he runs the fun house. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Oliver Tweed. And I may say that I have never seen so little a Sarah in my life. You're small, kid. S M all. Ha de ha ha. Who's that clown on the roof? That's Spanky the clown. He sits on the roof so he can see far and wide. How many tickets to get in? Five tickets, kiddo. I don't know how you did it, but you grew up real quick. That's the damnedest thing I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> 